Hi everyone, what's going on? It's Sherry with Blessed Bobbles, and I'm so glad you're back. Thank you so much for tuning in again. I can't tell you how much I appreciate all of you. And if you're new to my channel, please let me know. I would love to know that you're here. We are continuing our episodes, our series actually, of Rich Box, Poor Box. Rich Box versus Poor Box. You may see this on some of the thumbnails that I make. And this is where I take a box of Shop Goodwill jewelry that costs almost $500, and I compare it to a box that costs $25. I'm not sure it's the best comparison in the world because there's so many different Shop Goodwill boxes, and they do change from box to box, but it's sure been a lot of fun seeing what we find. So stick with me, here we go. As usual, I usually take some things out of the rich box first. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. We've had some very exciting things come out of this box and some not so exciting things. So it's been pretty cool. I had someone leave a comment or an email, I can't remember which one, and they said, um, "It's this is quite a comparison. They said the rich box is the poor box. And that's almost true. Oh, I see something in here. That looks sterling. Okay, that looks like a sterling ring. And we've got, that's pretty cool. Just grab a bunch of stuff out. So what we've got today. Can't wait to tell you about that coral piece that I found. Oh, must be a magnetic clasp. I knew that piece was special right when I saw it because I had already been studying about coral Aww. from my previous pieces. Oh my goodness, tweezers! Okay, just keep going. Oh, we're getting to the bottom of the box, so we're getting to little chains. I don't want to take too much out because I want to save time today. Oh, we are at the bottom. Let me see if I can get something cool from the bottom of the box. see something here. Um, this I remember seeing in the picture when I bought the box. What else can I dig on the bottom here? Yeah, that's going to be tough. I'm, I can see where I'm going to have to match things up that I find in there. Okay, that's probably good for now. Let's go with that. Remember, we're doing two boxes, so it is going to take a little bit, but I'm not in a hurry. I mean, what? it doesn't matter which box we're doing, because they're all fun, and they're all a blast. So, let's start with what we got from Rich Box. Now, I saw this, and it looks sterling to me. I'm not sure what it says on it. Is that, like, in a different language? Let's see... I don't know. Do any of you know what that stands for? Let me have a look inside. Let's see if I find a 925. Oh yeah, I find the word sterling fully stamped out. So I wonder if this is an older piece. I will have to do a Google search. Or if any of you would like to, that'd be great. Let me know what you find. But we have a sterling silver ring. Next, we have all glass. This is a beautiful black faceted glass cocktail ring. And it's on a silver tone adjustable ring band. The metal's in great shape. I would not think that's sterling, but you never know what someone might be making. It is magnetic, but that is a beautiful ring. Nice cold glass. Look at that. If you're wearing a necklace like that, that's beautiful. Okay, should I start prices already? It's actually sitting at a big size, but you can size it anywhere you want. Let's see where my ringy thingy is. Ringy thingy, that's a good name. It's sitting at a 10, but you can adjust it. I'll say 10 on that one, $10. And let's put that over there and that over there. So keep track of what I have to put aside. Okay, this necklace, I don't remember where it's from. <laughs> I don't know, so I'm just going to show it to you and offer it. It is a Chico's piece, and it's beautiful. 
silver tone hammered. This cording is in great shape. And look at all the beads. It's really beautiful glass beads wrapped around the cording. And then this lovely, this has to go this way, silver tone at the bottom. Just a beautiful necklace. So I don't remember what box it's from, but I thought I'd share it with you. It measures 22 inches plus another inch. It is a Chico's, beautiful, and I'll say 12 on that one. Okay, so let's put rich box up here. That even looks good with that ring. Okay, what is this guy? This is too cute. We have a silky cord necklace, I would assume. Oh my gosh, remember that stars and not star was it? It was hearts and stars necklace that was painted pink and purple. And I kept trying to open it on the video. I was I'm so embarrassed to look back at that. Because it was just like this. Like, can you get to it already? You know, making videos is not as easy as it looks. Like things don't just fall into your hands and sometimes it takes a little time. But most of you are so lovely and very patient. So I appreciate that. Okay, it's almost there. Maybe there's some earrings hanging on it. Don't know. I'm going to pause the video so I don't drive you crazy. Okay, I think I got it. So again, we have some satiny cord. And this is how the necklace is finished. And this is how the other end is finished. Look at that glass. It's like definitely handmade glass. This is so interesting. We come down this side and there is what looks to be coral. But let's take a really close look and see if we see all those attributes of red coral in that piece or not. Um, then we have, look how cute the cats are. Oh my gosh. This looks like Snowflake Obsidian, or maybe they're making it look like it. This is a real artisan glass piece. They, they formed all these pieces of glass. And look at the next cat. Can you stand him? Okay, let's take a close look at this bead. And I do believe it is glass. They did an awesome job making it look like coral. So you see how there's you know, a glass making mark right there, I think. Looks like glass. I don't think coral would have that little divot right there like glass would. Okay, let's see some more. This piece here, they did a great job making it look like coral. If it isn't. So I'm going to say these pieces are glass, but I'll take a really close look later. But lots of handmade glass pieces. Another polka dotty. This is really well made. That cat. I'll just show you all the cats now. They are so cute. This guy. This guy. And this guy. They're all different. Isn't that adorable? So it is a two-strand crazy cat, black, white, cream color, aqua blue, fabulous piece. It measures about 32 inches long, and I'm telling you, the way they finished it is wonderful. This is great. I should Google it and see if this is a certain maker. I did just take a quick look online and I don't see anything that is just like this, not with all these kitty cats on it. So this is really terrific. Look at the pan painting. I just want you to really understand the details of this because it's not just slapped together. The cats have a form to them as well. It's not just a flat piece of wood or whatever it's made of. They're carved, their faces are carved and then painted. It's unbelievable, really, really is. And all these glass pieces made to look like coral. Wow, okay, super long piece, lots of beautiful kitties. 
I'm going to say 45 on this. I mean, look at all the time someone took. I think it's excellent. So 45 on the cat piece. And I'm, like, as usual, you'll all let me know. If you love it, it'll be gone. If not, then I will rethink my price. Next, I see an earring stuck in a chain. So we get to sing our song. Wait for your mate. Wait for your mate. You know you gotta wait for your mate. Looks like a cheapy back on it. And I don't really like to fiddle with them until we find the second one, but so much fun to find them. I don't know if there's gonna be many earrings in this box. So this looks like a nice looking gold chain. It needs some cleaning, definitely. I'm not seeing any marks, and I'm not expecting that it's gold, but maybe it had a pendant on it. It's a nice long chain, very long. So I'm going to put it aside and see if anything comes up that might have fallen off. Things keep sticking to this magnetic clasp. We have a light weight gold tone chain, a little bit of knot in it. And the fact that it's stuck to that magnet is probably telling us it's not gold. Let me just take this clasp out. Because as you know, looking at all these things takes time. But I want to keep it moving. Hope you're all having a great week. The um, jewelry sets that I put out Saturday were so much fun. They did really well. There's still some bags left. So if you wanted to head over to that video, I'd be so happy to see you there. Also, I have a little story to tell about Jason Adams, okay? Because I keep forgetting to tell this story. When I started the series, Rich Box, Poor Box, and I uploaded episode one, Jason Adams, who is a YouTuber and has a channel, and most of you know him, and if you don't, please go check him out now. He's awesome. He usually leaves me a lovely comment on my videos. And he said, he said something like, Hi, Sherry, and put a bunch of hearts. And I said, Hi, Jason, I started a new series. Do you like it? And then he came back and said, I shouted you out today. So here's what I'm trying to say about this guy. He could not wait. I have chills talking about this. He could not wait to tell me that he shouted me out in his video. That's how sweet he is. He couldn't wait. He wanted to come over and let me know, hey, I shouted you out. That is so sweet to me. Sometimes, as YouTubers, we'll shout someone out, and then, you know, we hope they see it. But he couldn't wait to tell me. And, I mean, for him to shout me out, that's a big deal. And the things he said were beautiful. They made me cry. But I just thought I'd mention that. Jason Adams, he's he's awesome. His heart is the biggest part of everything about him. Okay. Thank you, Tangled Necklace, for giving me a minute to tell that story. Because <laughs> I really wanted to tell you all that. Okay, gold tone necklace with a horseshoe on it. I am not seeing any marks. It's a nice, simple little chain. Probably 18 inches. It's in great shape. It does not look worn. And just one more time. Yep. I'll just say, you know, $2 on that. It's a pretty one. Okay, now what is this one with the magnet? This is a Rolo chain. Beautiful. Beautiful gold color. Look at the clasp. Isn't that pretty? It's all pave rhinestones. And I love the contrast of the silver tone because if you wear it this way, then this shows as a pendant. That is pretty. Very, very classy and beautiful. And there's the chain. Let me show you again. It's got like a double, double rollo. See what I mean? Yes, I forgot to put my rings on. Ay, 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 ay. So here we go. This is gorgeous. I'm not seeing a name or a maker. Oh, it is a choker at 18. No, it's not. It was tangled a little. 
it is 20 inches. That's a nice length. That's a beautiful piece. I do love it. Very classy. Again, I'll say 12 on that one. Okay, this is fun. Okay, now what is this one? I know what those letters mean. Givenchy, but is this a real one? Let's have a look. There's the name. Awesome. Look at this. We have another Givenchy necklace. This is a beauty. It is a faux pearl necklace, and don't you know you would want to wear that in the front, right? Gold tone. Super awesome. Let's test the clasp. Make sure everything works great. Yes, it does. This is beautiful. No wear on it. Gorgeous and signed. Wow. So Rich Box is not doing too bad today. Okay, I did go off for a quick second. I am going to, when I have a little bit more um, money, I'm going to buy another phone so I can hold it right here and show you how I research and where I go. Now, you know, Givenchy is a really great brand. When you can wear the logo right out there, it's wonderful. So they do go for a lot. They do. At least, you know, 150 or more. But I'm going to take a chance, and I'm going to say 59. 59 on this necklace, because I just want to get things moving. And I've got to make some money back for this box. This box is killing me. Okay, this is 16 inches. Fabulous. All signed. There is another signature on here, and I don't know a lot about this brand. But it almost looks like... Maybe a swan, maybe these are Swarovski pearls, I don't know. Or maybe that's just another Givenchy stamp. But if you know anything, do let me know. There's the signature again, and it's a beautiful piece, and I'll say just 59. Beautiful. And hey, I can always wear it if no one buys it. But I hope someone buys it, because that's why I'm here. Okay, silver tone chain. It's almost like a blue silver. Nothing on it as far as a pendant again. Don't see any marks. It is magnetic. Put it aside for a pendant. Next is something shiny I grabbed from the bottom of the box. Oh, this looks like a pendant. This is quite pretty. Um, I don't think it would be an earring because this would be a little bit heavy. So it's just got one little knot in it. There it goes. Look at the pave crystal, the frosty pearl, the shiny pearl. And it needs a little cleaning, but that's probably a pendant. So pretty. So we've got a gold tone chain. It wouldn't go on that. And that silver tone chain, it would not go on that one. What's this shiny baby? Wow. This is beautiful. This is a lot bigger rhinestone than what I usually see. It does have the fold-over clasp. Let's make sure it works. This is gorgeous. Okay, I want to be careful. I think you fold it over this way. Oh, don't tell me the clasp is going to be broken. It's missing the other part, so the other snap-over part. I'll have to look in the box and see if it's there. Oh man, maybe you have a clasp you can put on. Look how big the crystals are on this. And I hope my camera's picking it up, but I'm seeing just rainbows shooting everywhere. Really lovely. They are faceted, faceted. Yes, they are faceted, but they're prong set almost in a square shape. Stones are round, but the prongs make them look square. It's gorgeous. Probably rhodium plated. Okay, let's see. And it's 16 inches. Pretty big stones. It needs a fix. So I'm just going to say $6 on this. If I find that other piece, you can be sure. I'll let you know. Really just... See how that just folds over right there? So if you had another one, 
you pop that one on and then you could yeah easy fix okay these earrings from Lord and Taylor are genuine stone as they say and also on sterling silver so that's nice let's make sure the backs say sterling yep they do they sure do it's a nice big stone it's a brownish color looks um don't know my light is not really getting it good I have to get my light closer Yeah, so whatever that would be, at least we know it's real gemstone. And sterling posts and sterling backs. That is always nice to know. But I'm going to take these little ones off because they don't look as clean. So very nice. Earrings. Um, they went for 30 and I'll say 15 on these. Very pretty. Okay, then we have a clip on. Look how pretty that is. This looks like um, celluloid and maybe a ladybug on it, on a stem, and then there's a rhinestone at the top clip on. That's cute. We'll have to wait for its mate. Maybe not. What are you? Oh, this is a different one. This feels heavier, much heavier metal. Really pretty leaf with green rhinestones and a pearl. Love that one too. Looks like it might be signed on the bottom, but we'll wait for it. It's made. Okay, this feels like real shell. Beautiful crystals. Some more shell. And we might have ourselves a sterling silver clasp. Let's see. It's a little bit stuck on here. Yeah, there we go. And an extender, but the extender is over here. So I think this might be added. Let's have a look at the necklace overall. So we have some kind of different kind of shell at the top. And then lovely gold, maybe silver beads here. And this shell again. Beautiful gold tone barrel beads and a beautiful firefly, I think you call that. Let me see if it says anything on the back. It is hard to tell because it has wings and all kinds of things. But I have a feeling maybe it might be sterling with this class. We'll take another look. We'll probably just have to test it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. But it would be nice to know if it's sterling. Let's try the magnet. I knew that would stick because it looks like it's added. It's not even the same color. But that doesn't stick. So, I think I'm going to take this piece off. I'll be right And back. as usual, here I come with how to purchase something in the middle of the video. I always forget this part. I'm so excited about the jewelry. If you see something you like, here is how you will purchase. Just email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. And please give me these four pieces of information. I will need the video name and episode number, the timestamps of when your pieces show, a brief description of the jewelry that you want and the prices that were given, okay? Then I'll be able to email you right back and let you know if it is sold or if it's still available. And I do answer my emails in the order that they come. So if you wanna start emailing right away on some pieces that you see, do not hesitate because I will be answering them in that order. And I don't mind if you send me several emails during a video because I know that some of you want to get your place in line, so no problem with that. Okay, I'm going to really quickly see if this is sterling on this necklace. Because I think those little beads and all of that adding up is going to be important and just want to know. Okay, just save time. I started to test the clasp and they're coming up a coppery color. But the beads in between, these little beads here, 
are coming up a silver color, so we might as well just follow through and see what we got. Because if those beads are sterling, then it means someone changed out the clasp. I do see some blue. Not super strong. Yeah, it is blue. Don't know. I'm just going to let it go. I do think those beads in between are sterling, but it's okay. No problem. Get all of that off of there. And go back to this piece. We have shell. I took that extra piece off. And it must be lovely silver plated because it's showing up great. So a shell necklace, beautiful crystals for sure. It is 16 inches, and I will say seven on that piece. Okay, oh, by the way, if you haven't subscribed, I would love if you do. I just had a milestone of many things happen to me. I have been on YouTube for one year. Last week, it was one year on YouTube, I reached 6,000 subscribers. What else happened? I reached 1 million views. So all my videos combined reached a million views. That is unbelievable. I never dreamed I would ever do YouTube. Nonetheless, people would watch and this just do what it did. So it's so exciting. And I had a birthday yesterday, but I'm not going to talk about that. Okay, here is another one of these necklaces. We've got a few of these. They have these silver tone beads in between. No real class to speak of. I think someone left in the comments that this is just Indian jewelry and that's how they tie their pieces. And that could very well be. It sure is heavy. The color is beautiful. I'll turn on Miss Prissy and see what we've got. So yes, another very heavy piece. We've had a few of these. Let me see how long it is. So it will be overhead, over the head piece without a clasp. 26 inches. Beads sort of magnet a little bit. They, they're magnetic a little bit. So this may be a, I was looking at Jason Adams eBay store and he has a lot of pieces there and I try to really study them to learn and sometimes he has pieces that are called poured glass that are round beads so maybe someone made glass beads to look like turquoise on some of the pieces that he has I'm not saying that's what this is but it was really interesting to learn so these are glass they're not going up to like how light or anything they do look like glass made to look like turquoise and these big silver beads. It's quite heavy and I already measured it and I'll say $8. Beautiful. I wish I knew more because he does have some of these and they are, he knows so much more about it that he's got them, some necklaces similar in the hundreds, but I'm not going to assume that's what I have until I know more. Now this, I think we had some other pieces like this too that looked very much like coral. This is very pretty. The colors are great. And again, if I see something, I just go off camera with it. I don't make a big fuss of it. Uh, meaning like, you know, a piece of fuzz. Let's put it that way. So this is tied together as well. Really pretty colors. It's a very lightweight. I just love how they made it look like coral. I don't think it's any kind of a bean. I really don't know. But it's a pretty color and it measures 30 inches. And I'll say $3 on that piece. Really interesting stuff in here. We have another big necklace oh wow look at that okay this is beautiful really shiny gold tone beads these are acrylic but look at the nice shine 
Then we have these textured beads, discs. Look at these faceted beads. And then all these shell pieces. Just beautiful. I love the finish on the shells. They do look like, were they painted or just polished? I don't know, but they're very pearlized. Wow, that's a beauty. No maker on it, but this is how it looks when it hangs. Again, quite long all the way here to that beautiful gold clasp. And I love that disco ball piece there too. Wow, that is gorgeous. I'm just trying to picture what things I have that this would look great with. Oh, that's so funny. And I hope you are too, because that's what this is about. Okay, the necklace measures hmm, 26, 30, and 32. So 26 inches, 30, and 32 on that. All shell on the bottom, beautiful pearlized. And I will say, let's go with 12 again. I seem to like that number. This is a pretty gold tone piece again. Wow. This is fancy beans. I'm looking for a clasp. It is heavy. Very heavy quality. And it has textured and shiny. Isn't that a cool chain? There's the clasp. Yes. It has the older sister clasp. Let's see. Yes. So the sister clasp opens both claws. This is definitely an older piece and they're usually Monet. It does say patent pending. Wow, this is gorgeous. And it says Monet. That's awesome. Oh, Rich Box, you are redeeming yourself today. Look how long this Monet necklace is. Can you believe this? <gasps> oh, I just got a chill. Oh, and I'm thinking so selfishly to keep this too. Wouldn't you? I mean, if you found this, would you keep that? It's a Monet. They have a beautiful finish on their necklaces and an old one. This is so old and in this condition. I'm just beside myself right now. This is beautiful. Wow, Rich Box, why did you make us think you were a piece of, you know, 36 inches, so you know you can double it. I wonder if you could triple it like a choker. I think so. Like, depends. It depends, but definitely doubled. It's so long and beautiful and glorious. And it's a Monet. Wow. Okay, I know these pieces go for a lot. These older ones, they're collectible. I'm going to price this one up. I'm not even going to look at what it goes for because I know I'll see all kinds of numbers. I'm going to say, uh, we've got to do, I would pay 65 for this any day. I would. But I'm going to go to the price I went with a Givenchy and I'm going to go to 59 It's long, it's beautiful, it's in excellent shape, and it's a Monet. So I hope that's a good number for all of you and that you're excited. What else do we have here? See some chains. Maybe we're going to find a chain for that pendant. Oh, I hope we're not going to have tangles. We haven't had too many tangles. You know what else, too? This, this box seems like almost all necklaces. That's kind of different. So we got that one, that one, this one. This silver tone, kind of lightweight. I'm not seeing any marks on it. Um, not sure. Maybe I should start a craft jar with it. There's nothing wrong with the necklace. It's cute. It's in a um, Native American style. It's just very lightweight. Um, it's probably too light for this pendant. Yeah, not the right color. So, you know what? I'm going to start a craft jar. I've named one Virginia. And the name is for... 
Chris. Chris, Chris and her family have lost their grandmother. They're very sad about it. They wanted us to honor Virginia with the craft jar. So here you go, Chris. We're so sorry for your loss. And I hope this sparks your day a little bit with a craft jar with her name to honor her. So let's start a craft jar with that piece. This chain looks like it might be a good candidate to maybe hold this. I'm still looking for something to match it with. It's just not happening. This is a nice chain. It's got some good weight to it. I do love the silver tone. It's not sterling. Boy, we have all these chains with no pendants. Hmm. This one has a pendant. Silver tone, lobster clasp, double hang. There's a little bit of wear to the chain, so I think this is going to go in our craft jar. It's very wearable, but a little bit of wear. So into Virginia you go. Now, just to help everyone understand, the craft jars can be purchased by anyone. I put the names on them for fun so that we can all enjoy and honor each other with different names and just have a great time with that. So anyone can buy it, but it is in honor of Chris's grandmother. Okay, we have a very pretty bracelet. Gold tone lobster clasp. I do like the metal on this. It looks nice and fancy. It is a turquoise color, maybe faux leather. Let's see if this is a stone. It does feel very cold. Miss Prissy, are you awake today? Let's see, I have a diamond ring on. We'll see if she's awake. Yeah, but she needs some calibrating. I'm going to bring her over. Just do a calibration for a second. Say hi to everyone, Miss Prissy. So what I do is I wait for that needle to go to that cal mark. And when it settles there, it has calibrated. So it has almost settled there. There it is. Then I go to the glass part. And by the way, these machines are a lifesaver. You can purchase one of them and make your money back in one test. So do see my um, Amazon links in my video description. If you'd like to buy one of these machines and you use my link, you will not be paying any more for the machine by using my link, but they will send me a little bit of a, a fee for sending you. So just thought I'd let you know that. I always forget to mention those links. So it is not going a little bit into glass. It's not a stone, but it's a pretty necklace and a pretty bracelet. And let's see, it sits at seven and three quarters. So if you like that peach and turquoise color, I'll say $4. Aren't that lovely? We've still got to get to the pour box. What is this chunky chunky? This looks sterling. This looks very, it feels sterling. This is what? This is Tiffany and Company. Oh my gosh. Is this for real? Wow, look at this. Tiffany and Company 925. Look at the size of this chain. This is beautiful. And this must be, I'm so sorry, it's kind of heavy. This must be where you put the toggle through. Or maybe you're supposed to put it this way. Oh my gosh, I hope this is a Tiffany. That'd be fun. Yes, look at that. Awesome. Excellent. Okay, if I had a phone right here, I'd show you where I'm going to go to research, but I'm going to go take a peek. You won't even know I'm gone. Okay, everyone, so I went away for a bit. I even took a look at a video from someone that has a lot of Tiffany and watched a lot of clues about how to tell, and it's definitely a real Tiffany and Company necklace. Isn't this so great? This is beautiful. It's so heavy and gorgeous. I will put it on the neck so you can take a look at it while I read you the information that I found. 
So I think it's probably worn like this. It's so cute. Can you imagine? That's so pretty. Whoops, maybe this way. Wow, I still have a Tiffany and Company um, charm that I have to bring out for you guys from boxes ago. So I saw, I authenticated it. It is definitely a Tiffany. I mean, I really checked the shapes and the this part should be flat and not curved and a lot of little things I checked out, not just, hey, does it look like one? So you can trust that part of it. There is several listed, 399, 295, 425. There's one listed for 268, but they're bidding on it. There's one for 675 with a box and one for 500. So they are up there. The ones that recently sold are for 347. I didn't really get in there to see the condition. 374 and 399. So we're definitely talking about an average sell of about 350, I would say. So they are definitely iconic necklaces. They sell great. This is a real Tiffany. Let me get my um, my scale so we can weigh it. Okay, so much fun today. This is, wow, it's really redeeming itself, I think. Oops, I left a thumbprint on there. Okay, let's go to grams. I have to try to get my phone downward. There we go. We are on grams. We'll just weigh how much sterling we have. 73.5 grams. That is a honker. So a real Tiffany necklace. And just to follow through completely, I will do a very quick test on the metal because I want you all to be very confident that you have sterling and you have a Tiffany. I'm gonna test it up on the top, not somewhere where someone can see it. So we'll just take a little test. I don't like to bother jewelry. I think that's enough. We tested the chain and the uh, little tag there. So where goes my stuff? Here it is. Let's see what we got. This is so fun. I was really getting mad at this box, but it's redeeming itself. Sterling Silver. Absolutely, they're both blue. A real Tiffany necklace. Wow. Average sell price, $3.50. Okay, so what am I going to do? Definitely going to let you have a deal. Um, I don't really have time to list on eBay lately, so... I'm not too worried about that, but it's nice to have a store for 24 years that I can fall back on if I need to, but for this piece, I'm going to say, I'm going to go 250 That's That's $100 less than it average sells for. So 250 if you love it, let me know. It will be yours. If you're a reseller, you can even turn around and make something on it. But I can't see anyone buying this and not loving it for life. This is beautiful. So, wow. 16 inches. I don't remember what the grams are, but that's a Tiffany. Yes. Monet Tiffany. Oh, this is great. We have this piece. Lovely crystals. Acrylic beads. I'm not liking this. It's not real quality on that piece. The colors are pretty. It does have a signature. Where did you go? Where did you go? And it's a chaps. Oh, well, that's cute. I do love the jewel tones and all of that. I don't know if that just needs cleaned right there. Let me have a look. I think it just needs some cleaning. So I am going to still put it in the craft jar. It's a beautiful necklace. It'll come out great if you just give it a little cleaning. So in the Virginia jar we go. We have a cuff link that looks like it's missing whatever was stuck on there. Another cuff link. No, it does not match. This one not seeing a signature on it. 
It's magnetic, so we'll see about that. And we have this gold tone necklace missing a rhinestone. Aw. It's a pretty gold color. It's like a more yellow gold, but I'll put that in the Virginia craft jar. We'll finish that up soon, too. Whoa, wait a minute. This looks... Is this gold? I don't know. It feels... If, I, if this box redeems itself in one day like this, this is amazing. Okay, let's look for some marks. Let's first see if it's magnetic. Not at all. No. Whoa. Okay, do we see anything here? Maybe on that. I have to look myself because it's hard to focus on that. Um, and then we have the other part of the clasp that keeps wiggling. Stop wiggling, you. Try to get this in focus for you. And this looks like it says something on it. Oh, it's really hard to hold. 14K. Wow, we have a 14 karat gold bracelet. Okay, this box redeemed itself. I still don't think it's worth the, what I paid because I'm so happy for these pieces, don't get me wrong. But to pay all that to maybe get it back we're not we're looking for more than that and what we do but we have a 14 karat gold bracelet the clasp works um i haven't even looked at what the bracelet looks like it's all hearts it is shiny hearts and a textured heart and they look oh that's so cute they're kind of like carved out looking shiny pieces and then the textured hearts uh, on the alternating. So a 14 karat gold bracelet. You might as well give it a quick test just to be sure. Um, I'm going to go way over here where it would not hurt anything. And we will see. Find my 14 karat solution. I think it has a green top, yes. And then I'll measure it, and we'll see what we're going to do with that piece. I don't want to have any old solution on there. Okay, so there's 14 karat gold. It is not moving. Nothing is happening. It's not getting eaten up by the acid at all. So we definitely have 14 karat gold. Wow! I can't wait to post this video. This is going to be so fun. This is like a roller coaster ride with these boxes. Such a roller coaster ride. I think I'm going to have to come back and give you a price on this one because we have to get to the poor box. Oh gosh, what should I do with this? I do want to make it available right on the video while you're seeing it because that's when it's exciting. Let's see what it weighs. It weighs 4.8 grams. 4.8 grams of 14 karat gold. And it measures bracelet thingy. I have been looking for gold bracelets, but yeah, this is a seven. I like mine to be bigger, or I would just put this right on my wrist. But it is at a size seven. What I say, 4.8 grams. Yeah, let me just, I'm going to have to look for a price. So I will go do that. Okay, everyone. I don't see the exact bracelet. I do feel like this is an older piece. The clasp, I love these that clip in and then have a safety clasp. So that's worth something in itself. It's a great clasp. We know it's marked, we know it tests, and we know it's 4.9 grams. So gold, 14 karat gold goes for about $39 an ounce, 38.44 an ounce times 4.9. So at least 189 on just melting weight. But we don't want to melt it. We want to wear it and enjoy it. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say 250. I think that's a great price. They go for 
they do go for a lot more. So I'll say 250 on the gold bracelet. Isn't that wonderful? And we'll see what happens with that. And I'll tell you what, too. I certainly don't want to forget that this is 14K, so I always put my little marker on it right away because shifting jewelry around can get a little bit busy. And this one, too. I'm going to put my 925 Tiffany's little tag on this. I have these at, in my links in my video description, too. These are great little tags. They have a little piece of sticky on this side. They're very easy to write on. Some of them aren't so easy. But these are great. And I can always put the info on something right away and not have to go back and look at all that again. So I'm just going to tag this. 925 Tiffany and put that over there and I you know if I wasn't doing a video I would tag this Monet I'll do it after my recording so incredible okay incredible I'm so excited we're gonna do some of the Virginia craft jar I have a, a vintage gold at bracelet with red and silver tone letters when you see those two moons that's a vintage gold at I'm not sure what all the letters are and why some of them are upside down, but I'm going to put it in here. I do know some of those charms go for a lot. This is a gold tone bangle. This is a nice looking bracelet. I think it just had a little bit of wear, if you don't mind, right on those ends. It might polish up, but if not, you can wear it or you can craft with it. Now this is an 18 karat gold plated necklace. It's just a darker color, so I'm not sure what's up with that, but I'm going to put this whole necklace in there. There's no, like, bad spots on it. It, it looks very good. It does say 18 karat gold plated, so I'm going to put that piece in there for fun. Then we have this lovely little crystal pendant, and it's real crystal, very pretty on a gold, little gold bail, I guess. I didn't check if that was gold, but that's going to go in. Then we have some earrings. These are really pretty. Lovely crystals on them. Was there one missing? Maybe. No. They're just, you know, a little bit funky. So those go in. You can wear them or craft. Another bracelet made to look like cowrie shells, but it's metal. Um, and then they're painted a little, so that was interesting. Nice clasp on it. Then I have this rhinestone piece. Missing one little there. Otherwise, it's in great shape. It's very cool. The prongs are much smaller than usual, so you get to see a lot more of the glass. This is probably a single earring that goes in. This is a hematite bracelet with some really cool roses in between. It's not bad, it could definitely be wearable. So that goes in. And then look at these pair of Doritos earrings. Nothing wrong with those, but maybe fun. Um, one hoop earring, a single earring, a bottle of something, I don't know. This earring is so cute, but there's only one I mean, really cool artisan looking piece. That goes in. We've got silver tone chain that broke. Some glass beads. Nothing wrong with this either, but there it goes. And a stretchy bracelet. Some more bangles. One looks a copper tone. This looks brass and copper. Actually like real brass and copper. This is, I don't know, fish on a macrame type. And this beautiful piece with the moon glow beads. Oh, I love this. But somehow the chain broke, so there's not enough of a chain to it. But look at it. Isn't it so pretty? Oh, it actually goes this way. But yeah, this kind of broke, so it's too short. But maybe you can use all those gorgeous beads. So lovely. Give it a shake. 
What else do I have fit in here? This is a heartbreak. Look at the American flags. This is one of those expandable bracelets, but it just lost the elastic part of it. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at all that. There's none missing. I love this, but I hope you love it too, whoever gets it, because it sure is pretty. Then we've got some little pieces, some extra chains. This has a sparkly on it. And then I've got some little stud earrings going in there. And some useful pieces. This is a single earring. Looks like a pierced and then it clips on the ear. This is a nice bracelet. I really liked it. Just has a little bit of wear on it. So, And we've got some beads. And then we've got these. This is pretty. Um, on the barrel clasp. Love those colors. Again, nothing wrong, but see if you can use it. Also, some, I think this is a necklace, and it's caught in this one, but it has these yellow beads. It's very pretty. Useful parts and pieces is what I call them. This necklace is very southwestern looking. Lots of glass beads. The metal pieces have some wear to them. See right here? But the rest of the necklace is very lovely. So that goes in, that goes in. This little ring goes in. I like this dichroic glass, I'm pretty sure. Might be on sterling. And it's on a very silky rope chain. A little key. This is a real leather piece and it's on a really old chain. So I thought that was interesting. Maybe someone might like some real old leather. Some more beads. Another one of these that does need a little help with the stretch, with the hematite. And some other beads. This says, I think this goes with Indian jewelry, extra buttons, spare yarn. So that might be helpful. So there we go. That is our Virginia craft jar. See, I have so much craft jar stuff, I mean craft bags and everything to show you, but it would just take an entire another video, but I do want to put this pretty piece in. This is a lovely bracelet, again, nothing wrong with it. Wait, is this my craft? Yeah, because when I run my hand along, it's a little rough right here. Otherwise, that would have been a great piece for my... Uh, matching jewelry sets. Okay, just want to, I always want to try to put gemstones in and give you a little bit of something. I think that's all I can fit in there today. Here's some gemstones. So this is amethyst and this piece, I'm not sure, but it's cool. And it's on the snap bracelet. So now I feel better. I've put some more gemstones in there. And some other pieces. So if you love the craft jar, let me know. Video is going to be long again, but okay, it's going to be. I'll say 25 on the Virginia craft jar. So just let me know. Email me at Cape Cod eBay Girl at gmail.com and let me know that you want that craft jar. Okay, this goes back in to craft to craft. And now we need to move these pieces aside. We have not dealt with them. We have not dealt with that. But we have dealt with all this from Rich Box. So that's Rich Box. Next, I'm going to get some pieces from the Poor Box. I won't be able to bring this box up on the table because it's, so, it's a long, tall box, as you saw from the other videos. So I have to put it down over here on the side and just bring some pieces out. Not too many because we have got to roll, right? Lots of bracelets in this lot. Oh, that looks very interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay. All right. Yeah, lots of big bracelets. We'll have to deal with those. Okay. 
so that looks good. Sorry for the clunk. I really didn't put it down that hard. It just sounds that way. Okay, let's get a rolling. This is a faux stone bracelet, but I love it. Look how pretty that is. It is on the stretch. It's definitely in great shape. And I'll say $4 on that piece. Beautiful greens over there on that side. We are on the pour box. There we go. This is, hmm. Sometimes these are Bakelite, don't know. Don't have anything to clunk it with. I don't think so, but let's put it aside for now. This is a very pretty statement piece. I do like how shiny that is. It's on a gold tone chain with an extender. All of the metal is in great shape. It looks like this on the buster. It's got good weight to it. I love the shapes and the facets. Everything looks great. Let's look at the back. Good shape, right? Good condition. This necklace measures um, 18 inches, and then you have another probably three or four, so 18 to 22. That's lovely. And I'll say $6 on that piece. This looks like blue coral to me. This is beautiful blue coral. Oh my gosh, look at those beads. That's gorgeous. <gasps> wow. I love the clasp, the barrel clasp. Gold tone works great. And not only that, but it comes down to these shells and more blue coral. Blue coral is really um, collectible, valuable, and this piece is no exception. The beads are in great condition. Wow, it's a pretty, pretty one. And this, you know, men or women can wear these. Let me show you the coral up close. Can you see the little, it looks like little straws that are in it. Beautiful. And there is a natural blue coral. It's just gorgeous. Wow. Okay, I do know what these go for because I just watched someone else's channel and they did a bunch of research. And, you know, they go for about 55. But I'm going to say 30 on this piece. Blue coral, beautiful. Um, yes. Happy with that. Okay. This. Oh, my. I don't know what they are. They feel like glass. Look at all the designs on them. That's wild. I don't know. Have you ever seen anything like this? Maybe in, you know, maybe it's a vintage piece and I miss this era because there's your older spring ring. Let's take a look at the beads closer. Wow, I don't know what they'd be made of. They look like glass with a paint over them. They don't look drilled. I don't know. What do you think? What could these be? It's heavy again. It's really pretty. It's going definitely to glass. Oh, wow gorgeous. It's 20, I can't add today. <laughs> it's 24 inches long. This is what it looks like on the buster. Wow, it's just wild. The colors, deep reds, brick red, these rusty colors, deep browns, even a blue color in there. And the clasp looks excellent. What do you say about a piece like this? It's beautiful. I'll say um, 18, that's a steal. Nice long necklace and all that glass. Okay, this guy, purple shell. Looks like it's 
a long piece that maybe got a little tied up. Don't see a clasp, but it's lovely. Very long purple shell necklace. Very long. It measures, that's 20, that's 40, um, 60 inches long. So 60 inches of purple shell over the head necklace. Really pretty. I'll say 10 on that piece. Then we have these cute beads. I love these old necklaces. Look at that, older spring ring. They are very lightweight, but they're adorable. I'm gonna say $2. You can see a little seam on there, but come on, that's so cute. Two on that one. This, wow, has a lot of stuff going on. Faux pearls, maybe some art glass. Is that copper? It's on a very dark copper wire. Lots and lots of maybe shells. I think those are bits of shell and glass. It's cool. Emery wire bracelet. You can shape it anywhere you'd like. Beautiful colors, and I'll say four on that piece. Another bracelet here, yes. Also on a memory wire, but now we have some gold stone. That's cool. Looks like gold stone and some maybe unikite. That's that pink and green stone together. Pretty sure it's called unikite. And it's definitely going way up there on the gem tester. So that is a natural stone, the green and the pink one. And then these are probably gold stone, which is a man-made stone. But what a pretty piece. I'm going to say um, gemstone and gold stone. I'll do 10 on that one. Okay, we've got a leather silver tone studded bracelet, adjustable. We'll say a dollar on that one. A little yellow bangle, put that aside. This is interesting. Look at that clasp. That looks brass and old. These feel very cold. We've got one center bead that's glass. This is all very cold. Let's see if any of it might be citrine. I'm getting glass and glass and glass. It might be like a check glass. Interesting how they have that bead on the side. So you have a cream color, faceted, again, all cold and all glass, red beads, the white one on the side. Really neat. 16 inches. And for all that glass, I'll say we'll do five on that one. Now, I had someone ask me for some of my wooden jewelry um, sets, but they are all gone. But here's a nice piece. This is a beautiful necklace. It's a lot like one of the other ones that I showed. Needs a little wipe off there, but that's okay. We'll get that done. So barrel clasp, beautiful wooden beads, and some pressed together different wood parts there. Nice piece. 24 inches on that and I'll say seven on this piece. And maybe if I get enough pieces, I can do another set of wood jewelry. Oh, look, we have a matching necklace to that bracelet. I wish I noticed that when I was showing it. So it certainly looks artisan made. They've woven together all these beads on the necklace and they put a clasp and they put an extender. So if you like the bracelet, you just have to shape this up a little bit. It is a necklace and it measures 20 inches long. I'll just give it a little curve again. And I'll say three on that piece too. And I'll put it with the bracelet. So, okay. 
This is a glass beaded bracelet, lovely colors, all glass beads, some cool ones in there. Self-adjustable, $4. This piece, oh boy. Um, yeah, I think I might start another craft jar with this one. It does have a nice, like a bronzy brass clasp. And I do like the color of the beads, but I just think it's gonna, it's gonna tangle like this. So I'm gonna start another craft jar, but maybe not this minute. This is a coconut shell necklace. It has hmm, acrylic, maybe Bakelite, I don't know. I could test for Bakelite. There is a lot of Bakelite that looks just like that. Coconut bead, possibly Bakelite, or at least acrylic necklace on a cord. The cord's in nice shape. It's a, a taupe color, and you could probably also wear it this way and wear the ties that way. So I hope I'm doing a good job showing it to you. It measures a long, long distance. <laughs> It is got 20, 40, 60, another 60 inch. It could be a belt. That's right, you could tie that around your waist. That'd be pretty. So for this one, I'll say we'll do five on that piece. And we have a bangle. I do like it. I like the texture. Has a little bit of a sharp feeling piece here. So that's probably going to go to craft. And then this cutie, maybe an over the head piece like this. That's cool with some faux pearls. They do feel glass. It's got these little gold tone beads in between. I'm wondering if maybe something should have been hanging on there. There's a lot of mysteries. No, that wouldn't be that box. Hmm. Could be something goes on it. Don't know. It is long. It's 30 inches long. Very pretty. I do like those bicone beads. And it does look vintage. It is magnetic. So I will say we'll do five on that. And then if something shows up, we'll just put it on there. So that's what we have for the pour box. We did a craft jar. I've probably gone a long time. I wish I could do some of these bags for you. I've got big craft, big wearable. I might have to do a whole separate video. So stand by for that. Got lots of goodies for you there. I think at this point, I will have to turn off Miss Prissy and let you know one last time how to purchase. If you see something that you like, please email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com and please give me the video name, episode number, the time stamps of when your pieces show, a brief description of those pieces, and the prices that I've given, okay? Thank you very much for that. And we will continue with our rich box versus poor box episodes. And I hope that on the way out, you will like and subscribe. I so, I'm so happy that you're here, and I so love you all very much. So I do hope you'll do that. These are going to go to the side. And I am going to start on my thumbnail, like you always see me do at the end of something. So I'm going to keep poor box on this side, rich box in my picture. So, yeah, I've got it right. And I will get busy on the thumbnail, try to make the prettiest picture I can. But this was sure an exciting day with the kitty cats and the, the Tiffany and the gold bracelet. Wowzy. This will be a great thumbnail and a great title as well. I have so much more to show you. I really could do 10 videos a day. I did want to talk about this necklace, this special coral necklace. Do I have the time? 
on the video where I pulled this out of the box, um, you'll hear me say on there that this is probably real Italian coral, and it is. And the, the clasp is marked 800 silver, and it's gold over silver. And they really are so expensive. They're very expensive and super collectible because if you watch any videos on the real red coral that they get from the Mediterranean, it's not like the coral that we dye and that we enjoy in our jewelry. This is a very vintage special piece and they go for $700, $800, $1,000 and more. They really do. Let me just read my information on that. Um, there is one listed on eBay for 110. I talked to the gentleman, and when I look closely, it's not the original uh, clasp or something on it's not original. So there's that one. Then there is sold for, let me see, I wanna get my whole information here. Yeah, 600, they're listed on Etsy, eBay, um, and on Ruby Lane for $600, $1,200, $7 $7.99, sometimes even more. And this is the exact piece that I'm talking about, exact, exact um, clasp and everything, 800 silver, all of it exact. So exact necklace. Now, um, there are some solds, 445, 510, um, 650. There is one that sold for 215, but the class was missing. So that's the case on this. I don't know how to give you a general number, but I think my price on this is gonna be the solds, I mean, are 450 easy and up. But I wanna give you a deal and give you a break. So if they're selling at 450 and up and listing at 600 and up, I think I'm gonna make my price on, gosh, it's really hard, it's so pretty. I'll make my price um, $3.75. I'll do $3.75 on this beautiful necklace. And I hope that's just so exciting to someone because it's a very exciting piece. Um, $3.75, yes. Okay, that's what I'm doing with this piece. So I'm happy to let you know about that. I really wanted to bring that on the video as well. So. I will continue my work, and thank you for joining me for this really exciting episode. There will be more. We'll finish up this box series in a few. I'll stop yapping and get back to work, and we'll see you next time at the Rich Box versus Poor Box Bobbles. Bye!